for today's project, grab a piece of the thick paper that I gave you guys and a pencil and a Sharpie. Begin your drawing in the middle of your paper using your pencil. You're going to draw a person. You don't have to draw your person the same way that I draw mine, but do make sure that you don't draw a stick person. So anytime you're drawing the arms or legs, make sure that you are doubling those lines so they aren't sticks. Notice how my person is pretty big right there in the middle of my paper. Next, we're going to draw a house behind our person. So I'm going to start the bottom of my house near my person's legs. Notice how I jump over my person's legs. This is how we are going to show overlapping. So our person is in front and the house is behind. Once you have drawn the shape of your house, make sure to give it a big empty window. Don't draw lines or curtains in your window because we need to draw something inside. Now I'm going to draw something inside my window. I'm going to draw part of a cat. You can draw another person, a cat, a dog, a vase, anything that you want to show that something is inside the house. Next we're going to show near and far. Let's start with near. Let's put a tree at the very bottom of our paper and to make it look near it needs to be at the bottom and it needs to be big. So this tree is going to go all the way to the top of your paper. Then add in a horizon line jumping over the house and the tree. So a horizontal line going from one side to the other. On the horizon line we'll draw the far tree. So no Notice how this tree starts on the horizon line and goes up to the top and it is a smaller tree to look far away. So we have our person is in front and the house is behind. The cat is inside, the person is outside, the big tree is near, and the small tree is far. Now we're going to draw something above our house and something below it. You can draw anything that you want above your house. Think about things that you might see in the sky. Birds, planes, clouds, suns, moons, stars, bugs, things like that. And then something below the house. So anything you might find on the ground. Animals, rocks, more people. It's up to you. Once you finish something above and below, we're going to draw two flowers that are side by side. So they are going to be the same height, so they're looking like they're right next to each other. If there are any other details or things that you want to draw on your picture, feel free to go ahead and do so. Anything else that you want. Once you have finished your drawing, use your black Sharpie to trace over all of your pencil lines. Once your pencil lines have been traced, use an eraser to clean up your art by erasing any pencil lines that are still showing. Save this artwork for next week. We are going to paint it. That's why we drew it on the big thick paper I gave you.